All right, so you guys have been raging at me about all the networking, especially power line networking topics that we've been doing. So we're taking a break and we're going to be doing a fiesta of uninterruptible power supplies. So today we have an APC unit. APC is one of the better known brands for UPSs or uninterruptible power supplies. They've got a lot of information on their box here, so we're gonna go ahead and break the seals and then see what APC has to say about themselves for this particular power-saving battery backup. Here we go. So first of all, it is 1,000 volt amps, so that is up to 600 watts of power that can be driven off of the battery of this unit with up to 121 minutes of runtime. I guarantee you that is not with 600 watts, but that is more of a maximum. Eight outlets with a three-year warranty, as well as AVR technology. This prevents damage and loss of computers and peripherals, internet modems, and wireless routers. Okay, sure, why not? Photo music and video libraries. Yeah, if you, you know, plug in your, um, your video library appliance to it. External storage. Uh, you can also save up to $45. See the back panel for details. Interesting. Annual energy savings. Okay. How much runtime? Aha, here we go. Uh, so 18 minutes with a graphics workstation, approximately 240 watts, you know, PC, LCD monitor, speakers, etc. I would say that's pretty conservative. I, I can definitely build a computer that can uh, suck more than 240 watts from it, but we'll, we'll get to that when we do. Look at that though, 40 watts. 40 watts is their 121 minute quote. Interesting. What do we got back here? Oh wow. Best in class, APC peace of mind, covers your entire back UPS for three years and offers a $150,000 lifetime equipment protection policy. Cool. Gigabit Ethernet and coax surge protection, good to have. Four battery backup outlets with surge protection, as well as, I guess, four that do not have battery backup. Yep. Okay, cold start capability allows you to power up the unit for temporary emergency battery power when utility power is already out. Cool. Automatic diagnostic testing. Okay, ensures that your back UPS is ready when you need it. Push button circuit breaker, yep. Efficient charging system recharges your back UPS in eight hours and ensures your critical equipment remains available when the power goes out. Cool. Easy to read, LCD. Ahem. Power shoe, personal edition, ah, software to help you automatically shut down if the power turns out so you don't you know, lose your work or whatever else. Building wiring fault indicator for surge protection only outlets. Automatic voltage regulation. Corrects incoming utility power without utilizing the battery. Very good. That can help make your equipment um, last longer. And it's true, because even if you have pretty good power in your house or building or wherever you happen to be, you've got some included accessories here, including a coax cable of all things. Um, even if you have pretty good power, there is still a chance that the slight fluctuations that happen on a daily basis or even an hourly basis can, over time, cause damage to your computer or monitor or whatever else that you have plugged directly into the wall. Look at that! Huh. Cool, check this out. Comes with a little QA test receipt thing showing that it passed all of the various tests. Set battery constants, input output phase angle, capacitive load verification. Cool, overall pass. It's actually signed by some guy whose name is apparently V. All right, stop halt. Something. Connect battery. Oh, okay, so if you don't connect the battery, that's, that's bad. So, uh, okay, how to do? Ah! Okay, so the battery is, we have to pull off some kind of, hold on a minute. Why don't you guys give me a moment? Yeah, so um, the reason I couldn't find anything that slid or moved was because the sticker was obviously covering it. The sticker doesn't come off very cleanly, which is a minor complaint, but, you know. You unbox a lot of hardware, you develop a lot of minor complaints. Uh, so basically this part just comes off. Yeah, whatever, it comes off. And then what you do to connect the battery is lift and pull the tabs. Oh! Ooh. Then flip it over. Man, it's heavy. Lead battery. There we go. And... Sweet. There we are. Okay, so let's have a look at the unit itself. For optimal power saving settings and recommended outlet configuration, see the manual. Okay, good to know. And then other than that, we've got a speaker button on the front, so I'm guessing that's to silence the alarm power, as well as um, like a menu looking sort of button. On the back we find uh, Ethernet, cable, 
USB and serial. Oh, okay. I guess it comes with like an adapter or something. Yep. Neat. Building wiring fault, as well as surge protection only and battery backup, as well as circuit breaker push to reset. So I'm guessing this is controlled by software in here. So that's kind of neat. And then you got like a nice beefy power cord coming off of it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of, and I never actually said the model of this thing, did I? Terrible. This is the APC Back UPS Pro 1000. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings of power UPSs.